guys my name is Brandon Thomas and welcome back to my channel today it's a little bit different different setup as you can see I got a bright light behind me and uh, not my usual setup but uh, I wanted to go over real quick some creative ways for you to get your first investment property or any property in general really but I would recommend more of an investment side for these. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Probably the least creative way would be to just go to your local bank and just get a conventional loan. Uh, it'd be a conventional investment type of loan. Generally, these are 20, 25% down, and uh, you also have to have six months reserves usually. Uh, each bank is different, but this is definitely the least creative way. Next up would be to reach out to a hard money lender. Uh, you can find a lot of these all over the internet. Just Google hard money lender, do your due diligence, find a, a good reputable one. And uh, if you need any recommendations, please reach out. I have a couple that are great. Uh, I'm gonna be using one for a potential flip I'm gonna be working on. And there is another guy who I am already pre-qualified with as well. So if you need recommendations in that, just let me know. And generally for a hard money lender, you're going to be paying a little bit higher interest rate and they will have higher fees. They will want to charge you higher points. And if you are new to the flipping game or haven't used them before, generally they are going to want a some sort of percentage down. Uh, it's kind of like the conventional side if you're new with a hard money lender just with higher interest rates. They're still going to want 20% down generally. The next way to get you into the game would be a private loan. This would be from a friend, family member, someone that would lend you the money to get the property, fix it up, rent it out, find some way to pay them back. Generally, it's the Burr strategy if you're trying to pay them back in a huge lump sum fashion. What that is, is just it's buy, you buy the property, you rehab it, you rent it out, then you repeat the process. And that's called the Burr strategy. And when you refine, wait a second, I think I left out refinance. Did I say buy, rehab, repeat? No. Hmm. What did I do here? Buy, rehab, rent, refinance, repeat. There we go. Left an R out. So after you you uh, get to the stage where you refinance, that is whenever you roll everything over into your name and you just pay back all the investors, which would be your friends and family in this type of scenario. Another way would be to have the seller finance the deal. If it's completely paid off and they want to sell it, but maybe their price is a little bit too high or maybe you can't get the financing, you can't get pre-approved or just one of these funky scenarios, uh, a seller will basically hold the note and you'd be paying them. Uh, an example of a type of situation would be if you want to buy the property for, well, let's just say the seller will hold the note for you at 100 grand, and your monthly payments to them would be, we'll say, I don't know, $500 a month, but you know it can rent out for 1300 maybe a month. So you would still be pocketing, you know, $700. Eh, well, you see where I'm coming with this. You'd be paying them the 500 bucks and whatever the difference would be would be your your cash flow for the month you know that's very simple terms obviously there's other factors that come in on in that uh in that monthly amount but you see where i'm coming from with seller financing you can work out too uh kind of rolling off of seller financing there's there's subject two now if you're not familiar with subject two just do a quick google search and figure it out but basically it's whenever the owner of the property still has a mortgage on it and you essentially take over their payments. Uh, they could still be living in the property, maybe paying you rent, maybe they're moving out and you're gonna be taking over their payments, maybe you can rent it out. It's kinda like the seller financing uh, scenario I just, I just gave you. But with subject two, it's a little bit more tricky. A lot of details go into that. I'm not even gonna get into it, that's a whole separate YouTube video. If you would like me to go into that, just leave a comment below and I'll put together a YouTube video to go into that, but there's plenty of other videos out there that, that explain subject too. And last but not least, and I probably normally would never mention this as a creative finance idea to get your first investment property, but 
I'm uh, currently reading a book, and this was back in the 1990s in this book, The Scenario, where this guy bought a property with his credit card for like 10 grand, and he fixed up the property, rented out, and it rented for like 1,200 bucks a month. And in short, you know, he had his credit card paid off within 12 months, and now cash flows, the house is paid off for. I mean, I, I know that that's the 1990s. It was a little bit different back then, and I think he was in Philadelphia. But yeah, he was able to buy a property with his credit card for 10 grand. So, depending on, uh, I guess, your credit card limits, that is one creative financing option. But, yeah. Till the next video, guys. Hopefully you found this a little bit, you know, useful. I'm sure there's a lot of videos out there that can explain any, any of these creative financing deals. Uh, if you would, please give me a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.